Today we had a thrilling overtime win for the Billikens in front of a nearly packed house at Shavitz Arena. Joining us now, the only duo in America averaging double figures in points and rebounds, Hassan French and Jordan Goodwin. Men, we appreciate you uh, coming down. Now, I want to say this. Hassan is already the career leader in blocks. Jordan is going to be the career leader in steals and maybe assist. Guys, you're both going to be 1,000-point scorers. When you signed at SLU, did you envision this kind of success? Did you think this was going to happen, Hassan? Yeah, definitely. Um, coming in, me and Jordan talked about these things even before we stepped on foot on campus. And uh, we just knew that these things would come and we had to be patient. There was guys here like Devell and JB and things like that. But um, we know if we just stay working and things like that, these things will happen. Did you think this was going to happen? Uh, most definitely. Also having the coaching staff that we have, uh, having guys in your corner always telling you just keep doing the right thing no matter what's going on. And uh, just go out there and play your game, having a coach like Coach Ford that has so much faith in us. Yeah, just make it easier for us. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to flash up 30 seconds of Jordan in action. I want you okay. to be a broadcaster, and okay. you tell me what you're seeing <laughs> out of your teammate, Jordan Goodwin. Let's, Let's roll that video of Jordan. Oh, yeah, and one. Back it. What are you seeing here? Finishing through contact. That's what he does best. Yeah. Finishing, finishing through contact again. Guys try to take a, a charge. Doesn't get the call. Finishing through contact again. Kind of makes a living on the block for a guard, doesn't yeah, it? It definitely does. All right, now let's go to Hassan video. And Jordan, you tell me what you're seeing with Hassan French video. Just look at the athleticism right there on that one. Post work, right hook, <laughs> fundamentals. Anybody stop him? Nobody. Look, too small. N1. Big bucket. Six, eight point guard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's be honest here. When you are down today, five points in overtime, mm -hmm. and I think most of the fans thought, hey, we're not coming back. What were you thinking? Uh, I was just thinking, we got to win. We got to find a way to win. Coaches, he, they always talk about that. Even Jordan talks about it and he's great with leadership and doing things like that and just talk about we got to find a way to win and um, I feel like that's what we did. Do you have a good feel even when you were down five in overtime? Uh, most definitely. It was a lot of time left on the clock for like three minutes and uh, we just needed somebody to make a play and today the Marius Jacobs made a, a lot of those in the overtime. Mm -hmm. All right now I know you guys are real good friends but there's a real competition <laughs> going on with rebounding. <laughs> He now has 21 more rebounds than you. You can't feel good about that. I'm not mad at him. As long as we win it and uh, he's taking care of his business, we're fine. But you have more double-doubles. You have five more double-doubles, and you remind him of that. Yeah, yeah, tease me about that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. What about true or false? Every once in a while, he'll miss a shot intentionally so he can pad his rebound total. Oh, yeah, definitely. He'll definitely miss a few layups so he can get more rebounds. <laughs> All right, what, let's just say right, we have Mike Bush shooting shots, our anchor man, and he'll be missing everything. Mm -hmm. And you two are going for the rebound. Who gets more of those rebounds? It depends how high it is. <laughs> what do you mean? If, the, if, it's, if the ball bounces far, he might get it. But if the ball goes in the air, I'm going to get it. I think it might be close. I think it might be close. <laughs> it might be, yeah. All right, hey, let's talk about your coach, Travis Ford. Uh, we're going to have some video of him, really animated. Jordan, he sometimes is really animated, and sometimes you both kind of calm him down. Yeah, yeah sometimes you just got to tell coach, like, it's all right, look, uh, just let one of us handle it real quick, and we'll talk to the rest for you. I mean, he, he gets, it's like he's playing out there with us. So. Right. I've heard you yell, Coach, I got this, I got this. Yeah, just trying to just, just let him think about something else right now. What do you like best about your coach? Uh, he's so into the game. It's, it's like he's one of the players. Like, he loves uh, getting into the game and, and thinking how he can do something better. It's just so great. In 10 seconds, a lot of guys play college basketball, become NFL tight ends. You're 6'7", 250. Would you consider it? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Could he do it, Jordan? You're a former wide receiver. He can do it. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming down. Congratulations on Thank another big so victory. Appreciate it. These are the Billikens. They're 12-3, and three, doing well. Mike, back to you.